Hello guys, and welcome back again to Let's Play Golden Sun! And, yeah, there's that secret entrance that Kraden was like, Oh, we must find it! And so, now we go deeper into the ruins where most people have never gone before. And yes, there are random battles in this room. But, really, these battles are too easy. Because, as you can see, even though you're at such horrible levels, you can, well, at least Garrett and uh, Jenna can one-shot them. And yay, I think, was it Isaac and Garrett leveled up? Two people leveled up, I think. So we're traveling through, trying to find the, um, the secret of Soul Sanctum. Oh, that's right, he gets a new spell, so we'll get to see Isaac's spell. So, yeah, Isaac is Earth-based, so he gets stuff like Earthquake and whatnot. And if you haven't noticed, Garrett and Jen are both fire-based, so they get fire skills. And there is uh, another small jewel. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. Well, it's certainly not for killing these guys. That's what Synergy's for. One thing I thought was kind of neat about this game is that Isaac is like he's the healer. Well, he he is a healer, and he's a he actually gets some decent heal skills. Not as much as your healer character will get, but I mean. He gets, like, three heals, like, three different, um, versions of cure, and he gets a revive skill later. So even though he's mostly for, like, fighting, he, uh, he can be an off healer, which is very, very useful. And actually, well, I won't explain that right now because we haven't gotten to that part of the game and you guys would be like, oh, gee, what sores? At least those of you who never played this game, which I know one of you hasn't, which is why I'm doing this Let's Play. Because you asked me to, since you never played any Golden Sun games, and I was raving about Golden Sun Dark Dawn and everything. So, yeah. So, yeah, see, Isaac's gonna heal. Well, he would have healed if Jenna hadn't killed the dude. Alright. Uh, I'll heal her now. See, the nice thing is that you can use your cure skills out of battle, too. And I'm back at the beginning. I forgot how to get to the exit. Because it's been forever since I last played this game. Those bits are kind of fragile. You know what? Those bats kind of look a little bit like those... Shoot, I don't remember what the name that bat Pokemon, the 5th gen one. From, uh, Black and White. I forgot the bat's name. But it looks like that one. Kind of. I mean, it's not as hairy, but the shape of it looks similar. Okay, they turn to gaze upon us. Yes. And I probably should have aimed better. I'm so used to it. They fixed it in the the um, later Golden Sun games like I said before, but if everybody targets an enemy and oh. Well, guess what? Yep. Now you're forced to use your synergy. And there's really only two doors here. One of the doors is correct. Uh, of course with this thing too. But yeah. It's kind of dumb that if everyone targets the same enemy. And the enemy dies before everyone goes. The other guys aren't smart enough to 
finish it off themselves. Uh, yeah, it should be this last one. Here's another door, but that doesn't lead to anything. It's just a dead end. And I think we're almost there. Oh, wow. Isaac's running out of Synergy powers. But that's okay. And Isaac leveled up! Yay! We'll get a herb here and... There, if you didn't see that room up there. There it is! This is it! We found it! Clearly this is the mark of the sun, the heart of Soul Sanctum. This is a boring room though. But if what they said were true, then that means they must have been... They were thieves! They came to rob the Sanctum! Let's hurry back into the village and tell everyone! What's wrong, Craven? We're so close. Oh, come on, Craven, really? These two people, these mysterious people, Sadros and Minardi, came. They went inside Soul Sanctum without. And when they weren't supposed to, they caused this storm that happened three years ago that killed like four people. And you don't want to report them to the authorities? You want to go farther? But I guess we're going to have to because, you know, that's part of the game. Alright, so everyone agrees and Kraden is like, joy! So, you guys are probably wondering, well, where do we go now? And there's no door here, but there is a pathway here to a room with a moon. This is interesting. Yes, uh, they're connected by that hallway that we're standing in front of. Oh, you mean, um... The other connect. Okay, yeah. Alright, so Kraden's gonna stay here, and we're gonna look up the path, or, well, down in our case. So we'll go in here, and if you come down here. Uh, whoops. Yeah, Isaac is still in need of healing, or I mean, not healing, but synergy, but we'll use it up because in here there's a synergy stone. Ta-da! Everybody's cool. Now, there's nothing else in here. That was it. This r puzzle here is what triggered the storm. So you're gonna think... The first thing you're gonna think to do is move those statues onto the th those little spots. But no, what you gotta do is come in here first. And the... Wait. You gotta move those statues up at the top into those spots. Because if you if you move the ones in the other room first, that triggers the storm that Sadros and Minardi set off. So what you want to do is disarm the trap first, and then you're free to move the um, statues in the far right room. See? Some beams of light came out and made a hole in the floor, and now we'll use Synergy to move that big statue into the hole. And something clicked. That means we disarmed the um, trap, and so we are free to move these things without any consequences. Well, any bad consequences. Any apparently bad consequences. Whoa! Interesting. Isaac! Graydon! Well, how did you know to look over there? Well, if, if we did it the other way, he would have known that room was there already. 
I think. But I skipped that part because I was lazy. Yeah, how, did, how do beams of light create holes in the floor? Creating, why do I have the feeling you're going to cause us so much trouble? Like I said, disarming the trap. Alright, he's gonna go where it's safe and leave kids to handle stuff where it's not safe. But yeah, as you can guess from that cutscene before with Kraden, you can only imagine what's happening in the other room. And there's also something neat. If we go to the left, you notice there's a moon there now. There used to be a sun there, but now there's a moon. Because the sun is over here. Take note of that. That sun right here. Well, that's because you didn't check the other room yet. That was a dumb trap at that. I mean, really. A child figured it out. So, if the sun is over here, then that means... Look! The symbol of the floor changed from salt to sun to luna. Surely there must be something in this room. Well, don't you see that big ray of light sticking out of the ground? I mean, really. So, next time we're going to discover what this ray of light actually does. And then stuff is going to get cereal. Are you ready for stuff to get cereal? I know I am. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!